Hey guys, this is Shubhash Mishra, your test coach. Today we are going to discuss a very important interview question. How will you reduce test automation script maintenance effort? So here interview mainly want to understand how much you are involved in your automation and what are the approach you have taken while automating the scenarios. So I will explain you everything in detail. Even if you are writing automation test cases in your organization and going through a very tough time maintaining those test cases. So these tips will definitely help you. So let's start. So the very first thing is you should focus on automating the right things. So what it means? Let me explain you. What is the easiest test case for you to maintain? I believe the answer is the automation test which you didn't write. What it means again? So if you not automate a test case, then you don't have to maintain also, right? So here I'm not telling you not to write automation test cases. I just mean to say automate only those test cases which are very very important and it will reduce the maintenance cost of the project automate those test cases which you are doing repetitively or you can say automate the regression test cases but the point i want to highlight is you should automate only those test cases which will add value to your project so choose your test cases wisely and focus on automating the right things now we'll move to the next point. Be strategic when creating your automation design. Keep things simple. So if you want to keep maintenance low for your automation test cases, you need to keep it simple. If you are writing test automation scripts using Selenium, you should try to write simple scripts as much as possible, right? It will help you in executing low level test cases quickly. Moreover, it will be easy to maintain and it will decrease maintenance efforts. Then independent test cases so try to write independent test cases and try to avoid too big test cases so too big test cases means if a test case has lot of steps and lot of validations you should avoid those test cases so your test cases should be short and independent to avoid flakiness okay then the next point is no duplication so do not write duplicate code for similar actions you should always focus on writing generic methods which can be used across the project and that is easy to maintain if there is a change required you need to change only that method and it will reflect across the project okay so we'll move to the next thing that is simple framework so you should use a simple test framework for your automation project you can use smart locator strategy to locate your web elements and you can store it in one place so if there is a change required you can update it in one place and same will reflect across project then the next point is do not hard code so do not hard code any values you can always use a config file to store the static data for example browser specific information your application url your screenshot path where you want to store all your screenshots, your test environment details, your URL, your login credentials, all these things you can keep in a separate file. You should not hard code it in your test. Next is test data. So we all know test data plays a very important role in automation testing. So you should always keep your test data separately. You may keep it in a Excel file or you can also use data provider. TestNG data provider, you might be knowing it, right? Now we'll move to the next thing that is test report. So test reports plays a vital role in minimizing the maintenance efforts. Definitely you should implement reporting in your framework that will give you a quick information about the test failure or screenshots, logs, errors, stack tests, etc. You can analyze your report and you can fix your test cases as early possible right now we'll move to the next point that is establish 
a process for keeping automation updated. So we have always seen people just write automation test cases and then don't update it regularly. In a result, what happens is when they actually want to execute it, they find lot of failures and it is difficult to fix all of them in that point of time. And then they just put it into the backlog and they never fix it. So people don't get actual outcome or actual result of automation if they don't update it regularly. So try to build a process where your automation test cases should execute every day and people should have look into the test result or report and if there are any failure analyze it and fix it as soon as possible right one more point i want to add here is you can make a proper review process before checking in automation code it can be a simple peer review but that will help you to avoid checking in the flaky test cases then the next point is establish a smart test execution strategy i have already told you right your test cases should get executed every day you can use jenkins for this and you can make a nightly bill to execute all your test cases with that you can save time for manual execution and you can find your test report every day and analyze it if there are failures so the key thing here is if your test cases are executed frequently and you are analyzing and fixing the failed test cases then your test cases are updated and can be used at any point of time then the next point is inspire developers for keeping testing in mind so collaboration with developer helps you a lot you can always suggest your developers to keep test automation in mind during their development. For example, defining a naming convention for UI elements like ID so that elements are located even after the UI changes and QA will not do lot of automation changes. So that's all. These are the few tips you can always use to reduce test automation script maintenance efforts. You can explain all these points in your interview. Also. You can follow all these practices in your organization if you are having a tough time to maintain your automation test cases. Hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. I will try to explain it. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.